Hello everyone and welcome to my Grinding for Gold series. I'm Bronzox. I'm a fairly new Trackmania player. I've been playing for about two months now. In this series, we're going to be grinding for the gold medals on some of the harder Trackmania maps available, starting with the Trackmania World Tour maps. I've been grinding these maps for a little less than a month now and having a lot of fun. These maps are far more enjoyable than the campaign maps in my opinion, but obviously much more difficult, though the metal times are pretty forgiving. This video will be covering the easy version of Slowdown, which is the first map that I got a gold medal on. Before we start, I would apologize for the audio bugs. Making these videos is a hobby for me that I don't have a whole lot of time to spend on, and I'm still working out some of the settings to get really good recordings. With that said, this is all of my recorded footage of grinding slow down easy mode. Enjoy. So at this point I was playing the tracks until I got a personal best time and then moving on. Nowadays I practice a little bit more even after I get a PB, because I feel like that first PB gives you extra motivation and you feel really good right after, which makes the practice more effective. Or at least I think it does. Well I got a PB right after I decided to start recording my progress on these maps, so I moved on right away. Not much to say about day one. Day 2 I actually had game audio, so enjoy. So my time here was actually 118.089, which you'll see in a second. I realized after I had edited the video here that I freeze framed too early and got my last checkpoint instead of the finish time. Overall, day two I was trying to pick up the pace a little bit and made more mistakes because of it. I started to get tilted in the middle section, but I was able to calm myself down and remind myself that my goal was just a PB, so I just needed one good run and I was done. With that and some chill music, I was able to take a few seconds off and move on to day three.
My time here was again edited incorrectly and was actually 111.392, which I was surprised by. After a relatively long time of making more and more mistakes, I finally got a good run and took over 8 seconds off my PB and got the gold medal, but I still wasn't really happy with my time. I got a really bad start and made a few big mistakes, and really the only reason I got a good time is because I recovered from my crash as well and got a pretty clean identity. I was surprised that a run this shoddy was worthy of the gold medal, so I decided to come back for another day and see what a really clean run would give me.
After a few small mistakes, I got one pretty good run followed by a really clean run that gave me not only a personal best by over 3 seconds, but the author medal, which was so unexpected that I didn't even pay attention to what it was beforehand. It appeared on my screen and I just stared at it for a second dumbfounded. That's what really made me think that even though these tracks are really hard to complete, the medals are pretty forgiving even for new players like myself. After only about 20 minutes of in-game time practicing, I was able to get the author medal on the same map that aspiring pro players are playing in regional tournaments across the world right now. Obviously their times are much better than mine, and I was comparing myself to them at first, but the medals are set by the map creator, not the best players in the world, and they're a much better benchmark for what a new player should strive for. I'm really happy with my performance here, and especially happy that the very same day I got author time on this map, I went on to get the gold medal on Flip of Faith, one of the most difficult and least played maps in the whole World Tour lineup. Video coming soon. Thanks for watching everybody, I've been Bronzox, don't forget to do all the YouTube things, and I'll see you next time.